Oh yeah, there we go. How cool is that? I think you said there you sent something else in the box, but is there anything else in there? Ah, that's what it is. Ah, oh, thanks, Wally. I've always wanted one of these. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Yo, what's going on? My stupid uh, stand holder phone thingy uh, is not sticking today. It's too cold outside, so this is the new angle for uh, for today. Anyway, I'm going over to Kevin's place, and someone wants to have a look at Mandalorian, so we're gonna give him a little tour. Maybe uh, do a little wheeling and dealing. He has a machine he might want to trade, a high roller casino. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, if he doesn't like Mandalorian, then he can go shopping in the uh, arcade. Kevin's got a few other things for sale. So that's the main purpose for my trip over there. But also, 10 minutes ago, this showed up. It's a big giant box and inside it is a World Cup soccer play field donated graciously by Wally16 on Pinside. I'm back. That's the uh, uh, that's what happens when your stupid thing doesn't work anymore, and I just kind of balance my phone on my dash. Anyway, we got a play field. We got a box to open, and Kevin also has powder coating for World Cup soccer in the shop right now. On a quick side note, been waiting for this play field to show up, and it's taken a little bit of time. I'm starting to wonder if the friggin porch pirates got to it so I checked the tracking for the first time in I don't know a week or two and it said it was out for delivery and I sent that to Kevin earlier today not long ago I said oh it looks like the package is out for delivery you know knowing that I was coming over there empty-handed I wouldn't have the package and literally five minutes later the postman showed up at my door. Oh, and I have a clip of that. Look what just showed up. My buddy will be very excited. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Awesome. And lo and behold, the package showed up five minutes after I checked the tracking, which was 20 minutes before heading to Kevin's. So timing couldn't have been any better. So yeah, that's about it. So see you over at the arcade. All right, I made it back to the Grizzly Garage. Got a box for you, man. Thanks to Wally16. Thanks, Wally. He's clutch. He saw the video of the World Crap Soccer, realized how shitty it was, and said that uh, he had a used play field if we wanted it, and it arrived like 10 minutes before I decided to get into the car to your place, so timing was impeccable. But I see you have a couple new toys in the uh, background there. It's uh, your buddy Scat. Yep. It's machine number five and six set up for restoration. So let's take a quick peek at these. Scott likes his mods as much as Kevin does. And we uh, just basically are inspecting this for the first time. We had an issue with the flippers not working. We've just found a cable that wasn't connected. So now it's working. But uh, this thing is... This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. Of course, it's got pin sound. Like, this thing has a million connectors and wires and boards and adapters and daughter boards and uh, auxiliary boards. And this thing is just packed full of stuff, as is most of Scott's machines. But he's got all kinds of good stuff going on here. Art blades. I mean, I can't even name them all. The gumball mod, this Twilight Zone lamp cover, lit star posts for the upper play field. That's a mod too. Oh, oh that's arrow. pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember the arrow on yours. Okay, that's a different variety. Clock millions. Where's that? Oh, that guy there. Yeah, little clock. This like Gorgar looking dude. 
ask me a question. No, ask me a yes or no question. What's that? Oh yeah, the whole back panel that has animations that pop up. When the Powerball came out, it said Powerball and showed a display of that. So we'll have to check that out. Colored EMD, of course. LCD. Oh, that was me. Yeah. Oh, right, the loop-to-loop -loop, uh, wire form, a little alien piano mod. Oh, that reminds me, um, we might have to uh, install those uh, mods on this game when it's torn apart and see how they look. Little rockets, it'll be perfect. Yeah, look at that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, lit up apron cards. This will be uh, pretty sweet. I mean, it's sweet as is. Oh yeah, there we go. How cool is that? All right. Well, I'm not really gonna play an entire game, but we'll play one ball. Oh, there it is, the loop to loop ramp. That's fun. I do like that. Any mods here that you're like, shit, man, I need to get that for my Twilight Zone. Oh, that back panel's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. Should almost do a tour of behind the scenes of all what it takes to get this many mods going onto a machine. Oh, <clears throat> let's show for fun. Oh, there's the door mod. That is bright, by the way. Have a look at this. All right, so we've got pin sound speakers, uh, color DMD. There's this auxiliary board here, another auxiliary board here, the pin sound board, this extra 86 pixels board, which I believe is for the back panel. And then there's this other auxiliary board here. And then this like interconnect board, more connectors here. This was the reason the flippers weren't working. Kevin found this connector was not connected. And then, um, yeah, did I get them all? But yeah, that's, uh... and then there's way more under the hood too. But it's pretty freaking cool. Let's uh, have a look at the Terminator 2, because that one is also very awesome. Okay, we'll turn that off for now. All right, ready for T2? That mod we were looking at was looking pretty cool, and then it actually moves too, so that's even cooler. But this game wasn't booting up. Um, so we found that there was an extra plug for all the extra mods on this one. Plug that in. That didn't get it to boot. And then um, we found uh, some connector in the bundle of wires in there that was a little loose. And here she is. Let's take a look from the bottom. Oh, and then pin sound, of course. Color DMD. So many cool mods. The plasma, the pop bumper caps are pretty awesome. We got, yeah, just mods galore. Okay, so we'll play one ball of this. Even lit uh, star posts, those are cool. All right, look at this. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I don't know where the skill shot is. Oh, that's it. And show the uh, drop target underneath the uh, T2 guy. That is pretty awesome as well. It's lit up, translucent drop target. There it is there. Whoa. 
the nub, never trust the nub. It's going quick, I'll play the last ball, why not? There we go. Oh, he didn't say anything cool when I uh, drained so quick. She said, you suck. Saucers even lit up there. You notice more mods every friggin' five seconds. Hasta la vista, baby, he says, of course. This will be pretty sweet, so... I mean, the cabinet's not really that bad upon first glance. Once you start tearing it apart, I'm sure... Uh, oh, yeah, the holes in the front. This is... Oh, yeah chunks missing yeah once you get close you can see all the nasties touch-ups going on up here oh yeah so that's going to be the before take a quick peek at twilight zone it's not all that bad oh yeah Back there is, I think, the worst. Oh, yeah, that's a nice chunk. That's from dragging it on the floor, trying to move it into place. Oh, yeah, more chunks there. That'll all be remedied. Yeah. That's a pretty cool shot right there. Uh, okay, so let's see what's in the box. The Wally 16 box. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, the Twilight Zone's getting chromed. This yeah. is all chrome stuff for Twilight Zone. Look at that. There's a sneak peek for you. This is for creatures in black and green. Oh, right. What uh, color is this going? Uh, gloss black. Gloss black. Okay. Is that brand new? Yep. Damn. Okay. So, we've got no addresses here to give away. Do not lay flat. Wood Playfield. I wonder if Arnold's gonna like utter profanities at us while we're unboxing this thing. Oh, look at that. Very well packed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's already labeled for you too. Yeah. Look at that. Sweet, that's gotta be helpful. Nice. Okay, now let's see how this looks. Okay. It's got like the carbon fiber cliffies already there. So I imagine if you're gonna clear coat this, you're gonna have to remove those. Hopefully they come off okay. That scoop is not bad. Do they um I feel like they'd come off okay? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. You plan on reusing these? Mm, not sure yet. <laughs> I'm already messing with his play field here, but I can't help myself. I can, but I'm not. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Gotta reinsert this soccer ball here, but that's about the main thing, right? A little bit of wear at the ball, where the ball drops into the lanes there. But yeah, man, that's totally workable. Absolutely. So work with this for sure. Yeah. So much better. So much better. Oh, there's a little bit of touch up going on there. But yeah, man, this is uh totally, totally workable and saves you from having to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a new play field. So that's pretty sweet. Yes, Kevin 
loves you. Thank you very much. I love you too. Um, I think you said there, you sent something else in the box, but is there anything else in there? Ah, that's what it is. Ah, oh, thanks, Wally. I've always wanted one of these. I appreciate that. There it is. We've got the play field. This is the beginnings, just waiting for the cabinet art to come in, and then uh, Kevin can get to work on this bad boy. All right. <laughs>